gosh, I'm so embarrassed. It has been longer than a week since I've updated you guys on a video, but we are back. We are better than ever. We're here with another Keeping Up With Kayla vlog, and I'm so excited. Like, this vlog, you guys are not ready. Like, I picked the perfect time to come back because, I don't know, I'm just so refreshed. I'm excited. I needed to take about a week of time. I think it's been a week. The last time I checked my YouTube channel, like seven days or so, which is not like me at all. Like, who is this girl? I don't think I've ever taken that long of a break from, you know, posting videos and sharing things with you. But I have a lot of stuff going on off camera in my real life that I just need to kind of put my energy towards that and also put my energy towards self-care and my mental health. So I've been doing a lot of stuff in the background, not on camera, not on social media, just getting myself together. And today I'm so excited to just do a video of just good energy, new energy, a lot of newness. Look at this, we got some new hair going on. I have some new shoes, which I'm gonna put on today. I actually got dressed and I wanted to take some time to feel good and whenever I do my makeup I put on a cute outfit like I just really feel amazing I have some roses back there which have been amazing in my space just to raise the vibration the love energy around me and they just smell great it's just such a good mood booster so I highly recommend you guys pick up some flowers for yourselves you not need to wait for a man to buy you flowers buy yourself the flowers sis but i'm gonna finish getting dressed today and i figured i would show you guys some new shoes that i picked up if you follow me on instagram you've already seen these i posted them on my stories and my feed and i bought these from flight club so they are a resale and it's my first pair of air jordans air jordan ones i'm so new to like the nike kicks i definitely am a sneakerhead I have a few pairs of like Yeezys and that really introduced me into like the world of sneakers and getting excited about the drops and I mean I'm not going to be to the level of waiting outside in a line to get some new shoes no but if they come to me then it's meant to be and I'm here for it so I'm excited I can tell you already I have become um obsessed and I'm happy with the sizing I got a 7.5 which I just used the same sizing of my Air Force ones I figured it was like the same silhouette style so these are the shoes that I got da, 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 da. they are fresh look at these bad boys this is a mid cut so it's not like the high tops or the low tops I thought the cut would be perfect for my first pair and these are the laser blue so look at the soles of these I'm obsessed. I wanted to be able to have something that I could mix and match with a lot of my wardrobe and I definitely wanted something bright and white um, for my first pair like I said. So we got the white laces, we got the black checkered mark, we got the blue logo and the Air Jordans on the side and it's a perfect fit. So now that I know my size, it's over. I'm going to be buying all the freaking shoes. Y'all remember when I bought those Yeezy slides? <laughs> I am forever scarred. <laughs> if you know, you know. That was so embarrassing. Let me just say that firsthand. Now I know you are not digging on my bed. But my full outfit is from Misguided. Obviously, we got the new kicks on. I've got my Angela Roy bag on. Links down below for that. I got my Ana Luisa jewelry on. Shout out to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And I love them so much. I've collaborated with them quite a bit here on my YouTube and on my Instagram literally all that I wear I have some beautiful rings this is like what I live for is just essential staple pieces that I can throw on with every outfit I don't have to think too much about oh is this gonna match is this gonna clash I personally love to mix metals and they do a really good job of adding a lot of pieces that are very dainty and delicate for everyone's style on the website plus I love that they have recycled gold and sterling silver so it's very good for the environment they have pieces starting at $39, which is such a good bang for your buck. And what I love about them even more is the fact that they're doing a sale, a huge sale for Valentine's Day. So everything on the website, everything, yes, everything on the website is 15% off. So I'm going to drop the link down below for you guys so you could shop the Valentine's Day sale and use all that information. Um, I can't remember word for word. It's like Kayla VD for 15% off but I'll put all the details down below for you guys definitely check them out if you're looking to spoil yourself treat yourselves by a gift for someone or a special somebody in your life I highly recommend their pieces for example 
these earrings that I have in my ear I don't ever take them out first of all long nail problems but I can take my shower wash my hair they don't turn they don't tarnish they don't get dingy it's because they have high quality you guys and they have the same designers from like Tiffany's and Louis Vuitton so you know you're getting good quality and beautiful designs at such a good bang for your buck and I also have this beautiful chain on as well and I have a matching bracelet for it too but I couldn't get it on with my nails but how beautiful it's very shiny very dainty it has a nice bit of like weight to it so it doesn't feel not nice you know the difference of good quality and um not nice quality this is giving me everything you guys so I highly recommend their pieces it's literally all that I have as far as like jewelry because quality over quantity I'd rather invest in something that one is a basic that I will wear all the time that's not a trendy piece you know what I mean but also something that's gonna hold up through me taking a shower or me washing my hands a million times out of the day so if that is you sis go check them out again shop my link analoisa.com slash kayla vd get your 15 percent off everything everything and that's the tea you know when i say i have not been to chick-fil-a in a minute your girl has not been to chick-fil-a in a minute definitely the outfit for me hooked it up with two chick-fil-a sauces yes this is dairy free um it does have eggs so it's not vegan but you can find some good options dairy free options um fast food wise i always recommend just looking up on you know their website they usually have allergy menus sorry guys my mouth is watering how to get ready oh my god I just be hitting different. McDonald's could never. Oh my god, I really need some water. Really need some water. Oh, hi. Why did this guy just give me a thumbs up? You know how you see someone off the peripheral? He's a brother, man, too. He just looks at me and... <laughs> Sir, I'm just trying to eat my waffle fries. Are you trying to get over or something? Let me slow down. No, nah, you're not trying to get over. guys how do you feel about this hair though listen <laughs> I stay on Amazon just scrolling for weave I'm like oh what can I do now what can I try out what kind of style what kind of look can we do now that um I have some inches we can do ponytails and stuff like that um and I really only do protective styles y'all know I don't mess with heat oh my god what is today's date my one year is on the ninth oh my god bro I gotta film that video I think it's the sixth today, I think. But I love going on Amazon to find hair, ponytails, drawstrings, all that stuff, so I can review it for you guys. And also just the convenience of getting it in two days is amazing. Um, and I do add them on my Amazon page. So if you guys want some curly hair, I was looking for some something blonde, not super blonde. You can see it's more of like a, I don't know, like a honey blonde or something, but I wanted something with dark roots. And this one was perfect. I was almost afraid that um, the roots weren't going to be not dark enough because it's a perfect match, but not enough, you know, because I wanted it to look like, okay, that could be that girl's hair. But it was like enough dark roots at the weft for me to attach and make it look like a cute messy bun. I'm really scared because this guy that was giving me the thumbs up is like parallel to my car right now and I'm at a red light so <sighs> anyone else get stressed out when people just start staring at you I don't get it 
I already grabbed my t-shirt, guys. Whenever I get home, look, I cannot be in cute clothes for too long. It's too much for me. Also, these shoes, I need to break them in. Either that or I need to order half a size big next time. Because <laughs> this is the first time that I am, you know, wearing them out. So, shout out to this outfit because it's coming off right now. <laughs> I need to put on comfy, cozy clothes. And I am obsessed with my bralettes from Target. And honestly, if you see them, cop them. They're flying off the shelves so comfortable i wear extra small and i need to go get more colors because i love these so much just for every day and then i'm gonna change into my favorite tee the doll drip it's such nice quality it's thick it's comfy i get mine in i think an extra large but that's because i like my stuff to be loose and not um tight yeah i think this is an extra large in the color charcoal do you guys see how cute you can dress up my merch? That's why you guys need to go cop this. If you like the vlogs, you want to support the channel, hit me up, links down below. I just love these long sleeves. Um, they come in black as well as like a blue color. And they're just the coziest shirts that I own. <laughs> and I don't ever want to take them off. I literally went to the grocery store to get lobster tails, which they looked really good today. They're only like $4.99 each. I feel like $15 for one serving for myself which I need to track to see if it's going to be enough protein. Um, but I didn't get tortillas. I was like, oh yeah, we for sure have some at home. And I Googled one time, how long does tortillas last in the fridge? You know, like past the date that is on them. And Google said four to six months. Is that accurate? All my Hispanic friends out there, let me know if that's real. Like, I don't know, that didn't sound right to me, but I have some tortillas that have been in there for a hot minute, and if they don't look good, then I'll have to use flour tortilla, and it'll be like a lobster burrito, but honestly, it's going to taste the same. So I want to start that now, just because I have more work stuff I have to get done this evening, and already the sun is going down, but I heard from the grapevine, the sun is going to be staying out a little bit longer every single day, hopefully soon. So... I love that. So this is what you're going to need. Everyone's grocery store is a little bit different, but I just grabbed this mango habanera salsa from Ralph's. And I really like this. This is exactly what I use when I cook this recipe for myself and my girl Beverly. But this is really good with seafood. I think it's the mango and the fact that it has a little bit of a kick to it. So definitely recommend using that for your salsa choice. Um, and then of course, you already know, we're gonna need a lot of cilantro for this, if you like it. And then I got my lobster tails here. I got three of them for $14.97. And then I have some super soft corn tortillas. So I'm only gonna use a few tomatoes because I'm making a small portion for myself. Um, but use how much ever, guys. I don't measure my stuff. Uh, but like I said, this whole point of this video is just treating myself a little bit sweeter than I normally would on a normal day, which is why I'm doing lobster tacos versus ground beef tacos. So this is a treat yourself moment. Um, I don't typically spend my money on seafood. It can be kind of pricey. So I just wanted to do enough for me, but I am going to just have these because they're going to cook down nicely. And this is gonna cook so fast. The tails might be slightly frozen. I don't know, sometimes they are when I go to the seafood counter. And this is a very uncomfortable position for me, but I know you guys hate when the camera cuts off everything and you are just staring at my torso the whole time. But um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through how easy this recipe is so you guys can recreate it for your own date nights but today your girl is taking herself out on a date and out on a date i mean treating myself to nice things today okay i'm just gonna put these aside in a little bowl so i can get into the lobster and then also use some fresh lime of course i like to roll it out loosen it up a little bit and again, set this aside for later. I might use the second one. I don't know yet. We'll see. So for the lobster, I 
pot. Doesn't look like that much. I should have gotten four of them. Take off my jewelry for this one. For the lobster tail, I'm gonna try to give you guys a simple tutorial. You can see how the tail kind of flaps like this. We're gonna kind of cut along the spine. And if you wanna butterfly it so you can broil it, you're gonna stop cutting where the flap is. Uh-uh. You want a bath? Leroy, go lay down. You get a bath. So I'm just gonna cut this up until the point where the tail starts to naturally bend. You can butterfly it and then pop it in the broiler for literally like six minutes. But today I'm gonna saute. Actually, I don't know. We'll figure out what we're gonna do. But slice it down the spine, right down the middle, and then we're gonna just pop. You see that? The shell open. And be careful, because sometimes the shells will shatter into pieces. And once you've cracked it open, you're gonna pull, you can see like the back of the spine, pull the meat up and out. Boom, and it comes off in a piece. Now you see it's still attached because I didn't cut all the way down to the tail. So if you wanna go ahead and just butterfly it, this is how you do it. It sits on top of itself and it will cook perfectly fast in the broiler this way. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rinse this off by the way, um, is actually saute it on the stove top this time but that's how easy it is to go ahead and deshell your lobster in one piece yeah this is gonna be like three little tacos one lobster tail per taco but I'm just gonna quickly and roughly chop these into bite-sized pieces um, I would definitely say four tails is going to be like for one person, so keep that in mind depending on obviously how big your lobster is. Oh my god, is she pregnant? What is this? What is that? Get my pan nice and hot. I'm going to add some olive oil to this so it doesn't stick. And keep in mind, you need to keep your eye on this because lobster and honestly seafood in general just cooks really quick and you do not want to overcook your lobster tail. So I do have a juice presser here because I'm going to juice this lime. I'm going to get these tomatoes in there, get those started. Boom. Super simple seasonings, you guys. Let me put you guys on. This just came out at Trader Joe's, the Cuban style crust, I always say crusty, citrusy girl, get it right. Trader Joe's just dropped it, um, get two or three. It's the citrusy garlic. This brings everything to life. It has that nice vibrant citrus background. If you love garlic, you're gonna love this. Put this on your avocado toast, put it in your tacos, your chicken, your rice bowls pot roast, literally anything. And of course, you already know the vibes. You're gonna need some Old Bay and some pink salt and black pepper. That's it, that's all. Fresh lime juice, of course. Simple. So to my tomatoes, I'm gonna add some pink Himalayan salt just to sweat them out, bring out the juices a little bit. Once that's in, you gotta season it real quick. It's gonna cook so fast, so. Um, again, do it to taste, how much ever you like. I like to go kind of hard with it. Some black pepper. The Old Bay. The Old Bay is really what makes these tacos amazing. So don't skip out on the Old Bay. It's up on my Amazon page if you don't know where to get it where you live. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mix that really well. All right, so boom, that's what we're looking like. When it turns white like this, it's pretty much done. You do not want to overcook this stuff. And there's a nice bit of juice here that we have going on. Lots of flavor. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, if you guys could smell this. It smells like garlic, lime, Oh, heaven, I don't know really what else to tell you, but this alone with the sauce and some rice, some beans would be so good. 
so that's the filling. Everything is pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my tortillas and then bust open this mango habanera salsa. It looks just like there's onion, cilantro, mangoes, tomatoes, something that you could honestly make at home. Maybe some lime juice going on in there. Sorry guys, I had to go put my rings back on. I was feeling a little bit naked. So I might end up doing like double wrapped tortillas. These ones are uh, super duper soft, but I've just been heating them up on the burner and it's a lifesaver and it tastes so good. I think that's what makes it taste like a restaurant level. Like if you really wanna go all out and make this for yourself, for your own date nights, boil yourself type of situation or impress whoever you live with, your mans, your girl, whatever. But doing this on the actual flame is everything. So I could probably get away with four tacos, um, but we'll just see. So you're gonna need just a pair of tongs. If you have a gas stove, this is all you have to do. I don't know. I'm gonna really try this on electric. Um, it's not gonna taste the same. It probably will stick to the thing. So I'm just gonna turn my, let's get a better angle for you guys. going to turn our burner on um this cooks so fast and you don't want to start a fire so i'm going to turn it pretty low and make sure you don't burn yourself so i'm going to grab my tongs can you guys see just going to throw it on the flame and let it do its thing i do this all the time with my flour tortillas and it tastes amazing whenever I do fajitas or wraps or anything like that. I haven't actually tried it with the corn tortillas yet. Ooh, it's starting to stick. But this is just how you can soften them up. Shout out all my Latinas out there that be flipping these like it's clockwork, cause I'm a little baby and I, don't want to burn myself but it's pliable and you have to heat up the tortillas do not use a tortilla with this and it's all like not nice <laughs> you have to heat it up so it's just the flavors you know what i'm saying it's the fact that i'm trying to break my neck for you guys <laughs> to get the angles I love tacos. I could eat tacos every day of my life just because there's so much variety out there. Shrimp tacos, lobster tacos, beef, chicken. Okay, yummy. When it gets a little brown spots, that's how you know it's ready. I'm probably gonna do three realistically. I don't have enough filling for a fourth one. Yummy. Ooh, making mess. <laughs> Sorry guys, I cannot be a messy cook. It drives me freaking insane. I cannot do it. The stress, bro. The stress. Cabbage. Shredded cabbage. Ooh, put that on your tacos. I didn't grab it today but it adds another nice layer of crunch and texture. And I like a lot, so <laughs> I just break it up. And then take some extra lime. I'm so excited about this. 30 grams of protein, just tracked everything, and it's about 350 calories, which is amazing. Not that I really care. <laughs> I could have literally had six tacos total, uh, which is what I need to have, but next time I know how much to buy. But guys, you have to try this recipe out. Super easy and simple, and look, it just looks amazing, especially the presentation. So try it out come back let me know what you guys think about it and what you added if you switched it up i'm about to dive in so excited mm. it's so good if you like citrus garlic and 
just good food. Try this. <gasps> that is amazing. I'm not even playing. That's like one of my top five favorite things that I know how to cook. But I think that's gonna wrap up the video for today. I really had fun hanging out with you guys and being back to YouTube again after being away for over a week, which is crazy. And again, shout out to Anna Louisa for sponsoring part of today's video. Be sure to check them out. Shop the link down below, analouisa.com slash Kayla VD for 15% off the entire website for Valentine's Day. I'll catch you guys in my next vlog very soon. Bye.